Hey, this is Super Fin Guy here. Uh, this is going to be a quick video. I just wanted to show you a neat little program called Prover Box. You know, it's a program for making deductions and for tracing, you know, reasoning. It's an effective tool against, uh, you know, logical fallacies and deceptions, frauds, you know, that the government's very good at. So it's an effective tool against, you know, that. So we're going to start with an axiom, with a fact, with an observable. In this case, an FBI agent, you know, in the field implies having guns. So an FBI agent in the field have guns. That's our context and that's the name of our axiom. So now let's check, you know, our list of axioms. We have one axiom, and this is all that the program knows. This is all the info that we have. So let's come up with the theorem to go to go against the the facts that we have, and let's see if it flies. So we have a theorem named T1, and it says John has, you know, that symbol there uh, re replaces the verbs. You know, it's an implication symbol. John has guns. That's our first theorem. Let's check the list of theorems. Okay, here we have just one theorem and one axiom. And now let's try to prove it. The minus symbol there shows that it hasn't been proven. Let's try to prove our theory T1. Okay, it failed. Obvi obviously it failed because uh, we don't have any info about John. There's nothing related to John at this point. So now we're gonna enter a fact about John. Le yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, here we have the axiom: John is an FBI agent. John, you know, implies an FBI agent. So now that we have a new axiom, let's try to prove the theorem once again. It failed. It failed because uh, John is just an FBI agent. He's not. We don't know if he's uh, in the field. As far as we know, he could be just like an office agent or something. So let's check our axioms again. Now we have two axioms. You know. And now that we have our axioms, let's introduce a new axiom. And we're going to call it axiom 3. So John is a field agent. He's in the field. So he's in the field. That's our new axiom. So now let's try to check our axioms again. Now we have three axioms, as you can see. We have, you know, a lot of information about John now. And now let's, let's try to prove our theorem here, that John has guns, and it passed. Now we have, you know, the proof that John, you know, has guns. As you can see, um, our theorem is verified and we can use that theorem for example the T1 to build you know more and more complex uh, concepts from that and we can trace it all so this is a, a fine uh, you know program by the way uh, check the description box for the website uh, where you can download it and all uh, its documentation and tutorials uh, I realize that it's only a command prompt program, but there are better ones out there. And this kind of program is, could be very useful for making decisions and, you know, actually implement it, you know, in decision making, like in courts and, you know, and decisions in general, for example, in the government. And that would, you know, prevent, you know, fallacies that the government might come up with.